Yo, what is up, AD team? Also done, I'm back again with another vlog. I have not done a vlog style video on this channel in so long, but today it is my calisthenics day, which I train my calisthenics every single Monday as a part of my workout routine. And I was like, why don't I show like what I'm doing, like how I did years ago, like 2017, 2018, 2019. I will vlog my days like how I'm doing now and just kind of show my fitness lifestyle and what I'm doing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today in this video. Starting off the morning real nice with three eggs, um, some potatoes in there. I got a bagel and I got a little muscle milk thing. That's 25 grams of protein. Then from there, uh, one of my homies who I'm working out with today, Steven, he is coming through. We're going to do an uh, interview first for my Patreon. Now my Patreon is a part of my second channel, which is Austin Dunham Vlogs, where I talk about business, dating, uh, other fitness stuff. So if you're not on that channel, go ahead and check it out. And then I, as a part of the Patreon, which is like my bonus content type of thing when it comes to dating, today we're gonna talk about dating for shorter guys and how he was over to overcome um, some dating stuff and see results in his dating life while being a short guy. So. That's what we're gonna do today before the workout and after I eat this. Y'all stay tuned because today is a pool based day. So, cause tomorrow I'm gonna do a hybrid upper chest workout type of thing. So today's gonna be pool based, thinking about doing some muscle ups, some pull ups. Y'all stay tuned, let's get to it. Yo, what is up Patreon, Austin with another video. Have you ever had a situation where you, you and girl were maybe talking or maybe it was a first date and she said that you were too short or have she's mentioned something about height? All right guys, we're at the park now. Well, I'm at the park now. Steven's on his way. And as you see, this is why I come out on Mondays. Empty park, nice weather. I can focus. The wind is perfect amount of breeze and we're gonna get a great workout guys. I love training out here. It really brings me back to my roots, like I said. I remember those days back in college when I would train at the calisthenics park where you guys know as a legendary pull-up bars, it was behind the RTC, RTC building, the brick wall. It was like four or five pull-up bars, tall pull-up bars. And I would be out there um, at night just working on my muscle-ups, working on my pull-ups. And I remember when I couldn't do muscle-ups and I, I would train there all the time, work my explosive pull-ups. And now here I am, what, four or five, six years later, Still at the calisthenics park doing what I love to do. Say what's up, Steven. Yo, what's up? What's going on, guys? What are you working on today? Doing some pole exercises today. Just warming up, warming up the lats, upper back. The band. Yeah. How often do you come out here? The summertime, not too much, but wintertime, it depends on like my routine. Yeah. If I do like strictly body weight, no weights, sometimes like one to two times a week, but yeah, I haven't come out here in probably like a month. Gotcha. Because I've been doing like a lot of weights, so mm -hmm. just hit the gym. Would you say you do more of a hybrid approach too? Yeah, definitely hybrid. Gotcha. Like started off basically all weights and then I went to like mostly calisthenics and now it's like hybrid, so. That seems to be the trend. A lot of calisthenics athletes I meet, they do calisthenics first and they start mixing it. So remember guys, I, I'm a hybrid style guy too. And you can actually check out the Limitless Athlete Program, my hybrid program, which I teach you how to combine calisthenics and weightlifting. Without further ado, Let's get into it. All right, so today we're gonna do a classic voiceover of the workout and let you know exactly what I'm doing. So starting off first, you already know the static skills. Today I decided to work on something that I usually never work on and that is the straight bar handstand. Now, of course I've done a lot of handstands normal, right? And a lot of variations of the handstand, but straight bar is something that I never really worked towards. So is definitely still challenging for me and every time i'm at the calisthenics park i am working my straight bar handstands on this low bar right here too kind of makes me feel like a beginner again back when i was learning how to do the handstand years ago so i kind of like the feeling of a new challenge and near the end we actually did a lot of assisted straight bar handstands which actually felt harder than holding it by myself sometimes but you know, if you have a partner there, it's good to have that assistance so that you can at least feel how the movement is supposed to be whenever you're in the straight position and doing it right. So Steven had his rings and I was happy he did because we did some ring muscle ups. Now, as you see, we did them assisted ring muscle ups. And this is how I've learned the ring muscle up back in the past by kind of doing like a pistol squat type of ring muscle up. 
and this allows me to focus on my false grip throughout the whole movement and kind of focus on that turnover part which is the hardest part of the ring muscle up and with the ring muscle up you know at one point i was doing like eight ten reps in a row three four years ago but if you don't do them you tend to lose them so that's why i was doing it assisted and then we supersetted that with pull-ups just normal body weight pull-ups but after you do the assisted ring muscle ups and if you do it right trust me the pull-ups are going to be difficult you're probably only going to be able to do 10 or so that's why as you do the ring muscle ups the assisted ones make sure that you use as least amount of resistance as possible to assist you and keep the reps low so we in for about five all right we can't do a pull workout without any sort of row so we decided to do some tuck front lever rows another favorite of mine when it comes to the rowing variations of body weight and then we pair that with another superset which is very very difficult given that it's the same muscle group pretty much and that is either explosive pull-ups or muscle-ups I started off with bar muscle ups first, but guys, it was so difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was really, really hard, but I like pushing myself. I like that challenge that I get um, from it. So we did, I think around three to four sets of pretty much everything, including the ring muscle ups, that super set. And then this one, it was a pretty short workout, but we were definitely feeling it at the end. And overall, we trained intensely, so that's pretty much all we needed. So this was the full body weight training workout. The next day, of course, I'm gonna go to the gym, do some hybrid stuff, maybe a weightlifting focus type of push day. And guys, like I said, Limitless Athlete just released the hybrid training program that's gonna teach you how to combine um, calisthenics and weightlifting in a seamless routine so that you get the best results of both. So on a special discount right now, so go ahead and check it out. Link will be down below in the description. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.